You know, sometimes it's hard to just sit down and code, especially when it's working on your own projects. Today, I want to talk a little bit about that. Oh, and Happy New Year. This is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. All right, so it has been a while since I've done a video. It's been, I don't know, six weeks, two months, whatever. You know, every time I do a video, I apologize and say, I'm gonna do more in the future. And this time I really mean it. You know why? Because we had New Year's and I have my New Year's resolutions. And first of all, let me say again, Happy New Year, everybody. New Year's is, I've said this before, is probably my favorite holiday of the year, more so than Christmas, more so than my birthday, 4th of July, all of them, it's, it's New Year's Day. Because New Year's is all about what are you gonna do in the future? It's like that ticking over the clock. It's a time to sit back and reassess what you're actually gonna do. And I know a lot of people say it's only a day and it is only a day. And people say, you know, my, my New Year's resolution is to not set New Year's resolutions and all that kind of stuff. I hear it every single year. Um, but you know, it's, it's that time just give, sometimes you just need that little mental nudge. Sometimes I just need that, that little bit of a push, right? That little bit of a get the ball rolling and New Year's always does that for me. But like I said, you could do it. Any, you could do January 8th. You could do January 15th. You could do, you know, February 20th. You could do whatever day you want to. It's just saying that, that, that line in the sand and the bad side about using New Year's in that way is that when you screw up on on the 15th or whatever, then you're like, oh, wait till next year, but you can't do that. It's just like, yeah, it's gotta keep going. Anyway, so happy New Year. Uh, so one of my New Year's resolutions is to actually sit down at this desk more and get more of my own projects done. So I've done over the last year, last few years, I've been doing a lot of client work. I've done a lot of you know, app development, publishing, a lot of stuff, but none of it has been my own. And I've started projects and I've sat and worked on projects. I've spent entire weekends working on stuff and never actually getting it to the bit where you release it. And a lot of you guys who are developers for a while, you know how easy this is to do. You have projects that are sitting there that you started working on. And if you go back to them like two or three months later, you can't even remember where they are. You know, like what, what state you left them in. So it's, it's getting that momentum and actually sticking through it. Now, the thing is, you know, over the years, I've been asked by a lot of like junior developers on the channel, like, how do you stay motivated? How do you actually sit down and work on your own stuff? Because it's hard. It's hard when you're like working a full day at work or you're working a, some client work for somebody else to actually say, OK, that's done. I'm going to sit down and work on my own stuff. It's difficult, especially because you don't know whether or not you, it's going to work out, whether or not you're actually going to earn anything from it. Client work, you're, you should you should be guaranteed to be paid for it. Um, you know, and, and obviously work, work, you have the paycheck and all that kind of stuff, but actually working on your own stuff, it can be difficult. And I want to bring this up because it's difficult for all of us, even senior developers who are working on stuff, it's difficult to actually sit down and work on stuff, right? Uh, which is strange about software because once you do start working on stuff many times, and you'll know this probably from experience, you're working on some code and hours go by, you don't even notice it. In fact, this Monday I was supposed to meet somebody and I was supposed to meet them at noon and I thought it was like 11.15 and I thought, I'll just work on this one thing real quick. And then of course, you know, I get the call at 12.15 saying, where are you? And I'm like, oh, damn, like I totally missed it. And this, you know, if you know this, like when you're coding, when you're in the flow, three hours could seem like 10 minutes. It's just, it's just, you're just in it, which is a, a great state to be in, but you don't want to start it like right before you're about to, you know, meet somebody or whatever. Right? This was like a big thing <laughs> when I was married, where you know, just, okay, I'll be home in 10 minutes. I'll be home or whatever. And I'll just work on this one thing. And um, anyway, it's, it's difficult. But so the hard bit when you're getting started in coding, the hardest bit is actually sitting down and getting started, right? Is to sit down, opening up the IDE and actually start coding something. Like you can set yourself a small task. Like I said the other day, just said, I'll just work on this for just a few minutes. And then once you get into the flow, a lot of times you're flying. It, you probably know what it's like to be, you know, sitting there at the computer working on something. And then the next thing you know, it's two o'clock in the morning and I should have gone to bed hours ago, but I will go to bed as soon as I finish this next thing. And then the next thing, you know, it's four o'clock in the morning. Next thing you know, the sun's coming up, but you know, but it feels really, really good. Now, for those guys, junior developers who are thinking, well, how do you get into that state? The thing about getting into, getting into that, that flow state is you just have to get started. Sometimes you have to just force yourself. I'm just going to open this up and just going to start typing. It's the same as, you know, 
the same as a car, right? You, your first gear will, will, has the most power, right? Or pushing a boulder, like you're, you're gonna, you're gonna, at first, but the first bit's gonna be the hardest, but once you get a little bit of momentum, it gets easier and, and the more you go. So it's just something I wanted to bring up, something that I've been struggling with recently, just, you know, just sitting down and working on my own stuff. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys are, are, are uh, well, first of all, I hope you have a great and productive new year. I hope you guys are enjoying your new year so far. Uh, I really am. Um, I hope you guys stay healthy, stay safe. I am going to try to do more videos here on my New Year's resolution list. It's there. Um, back in 2017, I had a New Year's resolution to do five videos a week. And then I went up to seven uh, videos a week. And I and I kept with that. This year, I'm thinking one, one video a week. So I'm putting that out there so you'll know whether or not I actually not do it. Anyway, I hope you guys are... Uh, you guys are all right out there. I appreciate you guys who have stuck with the channel through all these dry, empty spells. And uh, I hope you stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll talk to you again next time.